Agora TV. The world is thinking. It was two weeks after President Obama was elected. You were part of a, a group of activists who got together and, and printed a, a fake New York Times, mm -hmm. just like the New York Times, except it said had sort of headlines from six months in the future, kind of your, your dream New York Times. It said, Iraq war ended and, and, and that. And you distributed, how many copies was it? To well, it depends 80? who you asked. Yeah. If you asked the media, it was a million copies. A million copies, yeah. yes. It was 80,000. 80,000, yeah. okay. Um, now I want to ask you, like, when President Obama was candidate Obama, he said, quote, I'm in this race to tell the corporate lobbyists that their days of setting the agenda in Washington are over. I've done more than any other candidate in this race to take on lobbyists, and won. They've not funded my campaign, they will not run my White House, and they will not drown out the voices of the American people when I'm president. Is he keeping his campaign pledge? Um, well, we haven't kept ours, you know. He, I don't know. But when, when there was this vast movement to elect Obama that was successful, um, that movement really should have stuck with it and applied pressure to Obama. And I think he knew that he needed that. And a lot of people were, were trying to communicate that message that getting somebody elected isn't enough. You actually have to apply pressure to them once they're elected. And you know, civil disobedience is actually a missing ingredient of democracy. I mean, it's one of the core key ingredients of democracy. It's the way things have changed. It's the way any most real progress has happened in American history. And Th that kind of pressure, you know, ben like non-civil disobedience or civil disobedience pressure was what was called for. Um, that hasn't happened, so it's really we who haven't kept our promises. And yeah, that's what the New York Times was about. Um, we published it with a lot of people um, a week after the election, assuming that Obama would win, and it, it was postdated six months into the future and showed the world that could be if that pressure were maintained. So in each article, like the, the headline was Iraq War Ends, uh, there was national health care for everyone, uh, free health care for everyone, there was free uh, higher education, there were a lot of visions that, that people uh, could get behind and in each case, um, those future visions happened because people had taken to the streets and made them happen, mm -hmm. applied the pressure to Obama to enable him to, to be that president.